Hi, this is Numeric Citizen. In today's video, I want to talk about categories and tags on microblog and how you can use them to organize your content and also help your blog readers to access your content. I wanted to do this video for a long time about categories and how you use them in uh, your microblog experience. But recently, Manton, one of the guy who is behind a microblog, introduced a new feature for premium user, which are tags. Um, and both of those feature categories and tags are pretty useful for yourself as a blogger, but also for your, uh, your readers. And I'll show you how uh, they both differentiate in that, in that uh, respect. So um, what you see here is the main page of my, my blog. And don't, don't think that the, the top of the page here are categories. There are not categories. There are pages which can be displayed for, can display specific content if you wish. Uh, if you wish. Um, but when you click on a specific uh, blog post, like on this uh, team here, you click on the date and then you can have access only to this specific post. You'll see that the, at the bottom, uh, provided that your visual team allow, allows it, uh, you'll see the uh, categories I, I, I assigned to this specific uh, blog post. And the reason for that here is that I'm using two categories. One is app and services, because I do talk a lot about different apps and services that I, that I like. And I do have a, a specific, uh, category that I call newsletter. I'll explain that later in more details. So when you uh, are assigning categories to your blog post like this one, if I click on that, if a user click on that, it will see or she will see all the posts with this specific category assigned to. And the thing that is cool about that is that you can have a RSS feed assigned to show only those posts um, uh, with this specific category. And I think it's pretty cool. So if you tend to talk to, about or blog a lot about different subjects, uh, your readers might want to uh, read your content only for a specific topic. So think about this when you are creating a new blog or you are trying to find a way to help your user consume your content. So. As you can see, there is all the, the blog posts about this specific um, subject. I can go in uh, NetNewsWire here, and then I can add a new feed with this specific uh, URL, and NetNewsWire will find out about this uh, RSS feed app and services. Click Add, and then it will fetch the content. As you can see, there is 205. Uh, five, uh, five the uh, blog posts which uh, have a um, this specific category. So I think it's pretty cool for your re your user. And um, if I go back here, how how do you manage categories? How do you create those? It's very simple. If you go in the uh, in the uh, the main uh, page for microblog, there is this category here, categories. And this is where you can see all your categories currently defined, how many posts uh, on those categories are assigned to. And then this is where you can create a new category. It's pretty simple to give it a name and then boom, yeah, category. And then it will come here in this list. This morning, I created a new one, which is climate, because um, I found myself talking more and more about climate change, climate crisis, and uh, weather related events. And so I decided to um, to use uh, to create the, this category. By the way, if you create a new category and you want to assign a, a post, uh, a previous post, it's pretty simple. Like this morning, or I think it's yesterday, I, I created this uh, specific post about a hurricane in uh, West uh, in Pacific. So I you can just click on Edit here, and then you will be presented with. Uh, the categories at the bottom, and then you just have to click on the specific one, and then you just update the post, and then you'll uh, you'll get a new post in this specific category. It's pretty simple. Um, the other thing that you have to uh, know is that uh, in, regarding categories, so you see here, there's one post in this specific category. It's pretty simple. So again, uh, categories are not at the at the at the top here, it's very for assigning to each 
blog post. But what if you want to show this something similar to this uh, to your user so they, so they can see what are the uh, specific topics uh, that your blog is about? So there is a plugin that you can install with microblog. And I'll try to find it. I, I, I remember that. So I'll go in the plugins here. And I think I don't, I'll just category. I don't think I have microblog feed add a page with all RSS feeds for your site, including. So I do have this, this plugin installed. So I'm not sure how I'll make it work. So if I go here, I don't have, this is for, uh, this is for other feeds here. Yeah. So to get this page here available for all your readers to see so they can subscribe to a specific RSS feed, this is how you do it. You add a page with a, a specific, um, I think it's a shortcut, short code. I'll try to find out which one it is. You can also go in the, in this, um, um, yeah. Oh yeah, you have to add the a page with this in the, as a name and then microblog somehow will will specifically use this page to display all your categories. So this is how you do it. So again, uh, it's pretty simple. If I go in my pages, I should have, I don't have that. I think it's uh, by default, it's, yeah, I think it's by default. It, this is how it, it is created. You don't have to do anything for that. So this is how you will be uh, presenting your categories to your user. So this is uh, important. And the other thing that you not, that you can, uh, that you should know, it's the fact that if I go back in this post here, um, if I go in this uh, specific uh, post, I, I do edit, uh, there's, I, I, I saw this uh, specific category to be automatically assigned. So how is it possible for when I'm creating a new a blog post, if I add an image, how is it possible that this specific post is automatic, automatically tagged with photography uh, as a category? Uh, this is how uh, microblog uh, is doing its magic when there's a few things that you can assign if you are kind of also writing um, a long post and if you want to tag or if you want to categorize this as a long post then automatically you can set a rule where this will be automatically done for you um, and I, let me see how we can do that so the way to assign a category automatically to a blog post uh, it is pretty simple and you when you look at the uh, categories page here at the bottom there is a edit filters available so if you click on that you will see that you can create a categories for a specific uh, blog post so how you do that so if I click on the new filter here you can say that if the title of a blog post contains something or if the blog post uh, body contains some text and if the post length is long or short, uh, a long post is uh, consider considered as a long post if there is a title to assign to it, then you can set a specific category to this uh, specific um, uh, blog post. You can have many rules and those rules are applied each time you are posting something, all the rules will be executed against your a recently published post and all as soon as there is a, a match then the category will be assigned so this is how um, this is done how when when you are selecting a post and there's something already assigned to it this is by using the filters here and I think it's pretty clever because you can easily create a lot of uh, different categories automatically you don't have to bother assigning yourself anything related to that. I do prefer to be able to assign, uh, manually assign a category because I want, sometimes I want that to be an intention, uh, intentional from, from, for me. And one of the way I'm using this intentional uh, category assignment, assignment, assignment 
is when I'm using the is for using the newsletter. The newsletter is a premium feature, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. And each month, um, I send a, a summary of all the of most of my blog posts in a single email for people to to read. Uh, but this is not an automatic process. I mean, the, the sending and the generation of the newsletter is an automatic process. But when I'm writing a new post, if I want the post to, to be part of this, uh, of, the, of the next release or the next newsletter release, then what I'll show, I'll, what I'll do is I'll show category and then I'll click on this newsletter feature. Uh, I'm using a monthly uh, edition, but you might decide to uh, do that on a weekly basis and it's pretty cool because it's a it's a pretty clever way to generate a new a monthly newsletter without much effort it's it's very simple to do and i do have some blog posts that i won't make part of the newsletter when i'm asking for help so on something and it's a, it's a very specific thing uh, then i'll probably exclude this post from the upcoming uh, newsletter so this is how I'm using intentionally using uh, the, the the category assignment to a, a blog post. So that's for the category feature of microblog. Now let's talk about tags. Tags is a is a recently introduced feature for uh, to go uh, with uh, bookmarks, and this is a feature for premium uh, subscription and. Tags are used for bookmarks only. So bookmarks is a, a very interesting feature because suppose you're reading your timeline. This is a, my current timeline uh, in my blog and I do find an, an article that I would like to read later. Then I can go over here in this timeline. You'll see there is a reply button, there is a bookmark and I can embed that. Let's say I want to bookmark that for a later reference or for to read later. Um, here I have another uh, post from this guy about um, about a mythologist naming heat waves uh, according to uh, polluting companies. Um, I already bookmarked this uh, specific post, and this is why you see here there's a there is a unbookmark um, uh, thing that you, I can click on just to remove it from my bookmark. Um, there is this tag here that I, that I can use to tag this bookmark. So let's say I want to, I think I will react to this. I want to create a link post later on. I can just type the few, a few letters, link post, um, and I'll click update. So now I have, I have tagged this specific, um, uh, blog post. Um, this one is tagged is a bookmark, but I, there is no way for me to add a tag from there because the, the, the page is not dynamically refreshed. So what I'm going to do, I'll go up in this here and I'll go in the bookmarks section on the navigation bar on the left. So this is again, the, the, the tag that is, I just created for this specific, I'll, I'll just, if I want to add a new tag, I can add a, a comma there and I can also write climate change this is auto completion because i already tagged in the past post with the exact same tag so i just click enter there and i'll click update here and also on this specific article which i just bookmarked i can add a, um, a tag and again if i want to uh, maybe later on uh, to read i think I, I have a to read here and maybe i'll create a link post about that and I'll click update. So this is how you will be able to refer to those in the future by using a tag. And again, as you might already know, as soon as you tag, uh, as soon as you bookmark an article, a blog post with a, a link, uh, you can have access to the, um, uh, the article that was fetched by microblog and then stored in a archive way so that later you can simply read it if you can if you want you can highlight that with the highlight feature um if i go back here uh, i think there's a menu here where you see all the recent tags that i have used and i can go here and then i'll select all tags and you see all the uh the the bookmarks 
that I tagged in the past. And then I can just click on those. I have two bookmarks here that, uh, that talks about uh, climate change. I can just read those. I can maybe um, create a post where I'll be able to add a category to this post with the climate category that I showed earlier in the video. So uh, this is how you use tags in your, um, in your uh, reading experience. So as you can see, tags is more about reading and categories is more about writing and uh, organizing your content for your readers. So two different features, but very complementary in nature. They don't serve the same purpose, but I like those a lot. So this is pretty much what I have to say, I think, about this. Um, also, some visual teams uh, will be able to expose uh, the tags on your bookmarks page. If you go again, uh, if I go on my blog here, I have installed a plugin uh, to show, I think it's, uh, no, I don't have those. I don't have though yeah the bookmarks if i go there bookmarks uh this is the basic plugins current in its current version there is no way to show the tags but i'm hoping that in the near future we'll be able to show those tags to to your user or at least have an option to show or hide those tags to each bookmark so that's pretty much what i had to say with book with uh, tags uh, again this is a feature only for bookmarks and this is for premium subscription only so that's it for today's video about categories and tags i hope you liked it i hope you learned a few things along the way uh, thanks for watching don't be shy if you want to ask questions or if you want to comment just put your comment below this video i'll be more than happy to respond if i know the answer or if i have something uh, worthwhile worth to 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 respond to uh so again thank you for watching thank you for being there until the very end of this video and see you guys for another one i'm working on a special project for september can't wait for you for me to share it to you uh so again thank you for watching and see you guys for another one bye